What is disc desiccation? When patients experience any type of spinal condition like low back pain, mid back pain, or neck pain, a lot of times they're prescribed MRIs. And in these MRIs, they'll get findings back. And one common finding that tends to be associated with these types of symptoms is something called disc desiccation. And most patients don't know what that even means. What, what is a disc desiccation? Well, first thing we have to understand is what are spinal discs? And discs actually sit between every single vertebra in your spine. They sit in between two bones and they have a tough outer la layer and, a th and like a soft gel-like interior. And these discs, they help give the spine structure. They distribute mechanical forces and they actually act, act as a cushion between every single vertebra and they provide the proper spacing for the nerves to exit. What happens is when the spine can shift out of alignment, it can lead to something called disc desiccation. And disc desiccations is when discs actually degenerate and deteriorate and they start losing hydration. And specifically, that gel-like fluid becomes less gel-like and more solid and it starts decreasing in its height. And this decreasing in height causes the whole structure, whole area of that joint complex, the vertebra above, the disc involved, and the vertebra below to not function properly. And this tends to cause lots of symptoms or problems related to that patient. Uh, very com commonly, we see disc desiccation associated with the degenerative disc disease. Degenerative disc disease is when the disc itself goes through a degenerative process. Now, the fact that it's called degenerative disc disease is almost a misnomer because it's not a disease, it's something that you catch. It's not something that you, you know, like you, you catch and it, it, it's affecting every disc of your, of your entire uh, spine. Degenerative disc disease is mostly related to mechanical stressors, meaning when the spine is not properly aligned and when it's out of alignment for a long period of time, the asymmetrical force that's being applied to that disc versus the other discs cause them to degenerate or deteriorate faster or age faster than the rest of your spine. Most of the time when you do these MRIs or these x-rays, you'll see one disc that's super damaged, that has a lot of disc desiccation, and the rest of the discs are fine. And it's showing that that disc is going through a faster aging process due to a normally a lack of normal alignment or some injury in that area that's causing the spine to uh, approximate its aging process and it causes it to go through a degenerative disc phase or disc degeneration. Um, these symptoms most commonly is stiffness. You're gonna see a lack of motion in those areas. The joints are not gonna move properly. The discs are lost their gel-like material in the middle. So therefore the normal range of motion in that disc area isn't there. So it creates stiffness in that area of the spine. It can create pain because discs aren't working properly, aren't moving properly, so therefore pain can be associated in the tissues around. It can affect the nerves that are coming out the spine, so it can lead to tingling and numbness. It can create an overall weakness, meaning that there is the spine doesn't feel as stable, especially under compressive forces, because the disc has gone through that thinning process. So how do you treat a disc desiccation and how do you improve it? Well, first thing is that you wanna get the alignment right. If we know the alignment is wrong in that area that's leading to the disc the desiccation or degeneration, you have wanna get the spine realigned as close as possible. And this is typically done very specifically based upon where in the spine the desiccation is, whether it's in the lumbar spine, thoracic spine, or cervical spine. So we wanna get proper alignment done. And normally we wanna to try to improve lifestyle changes, meaning that if there's any type of uh, things that the patient is currently doing that's leading to this type of issue, like long hour sitting, a lack of mobility, we wanna to to try to create uh, lifestyle changes that are gonna improve flexibility and mobility of the spine. Weight could be associated with it. Um, increased weight can cause more compression forces to the spine, which can lead to faster degeneration of the areas that are misaligned because it's causing more compressive forces. So we want to make anything that we can do specifically to help improve the lifestyle changes associated with the disc desiccation. And we want to look at what it's actually leading to specifically. In an office, what we can help, what helps it is uh, rehabilitation processes that include traction or elongation of the spine, chiropractic treatments, that like adjustments that can help reposition and move the spine back into alignment, and home therapy and home exercises prescribed to work in coordination with the in-office treatment and the rehabilitation in the office to help hold and stabilize the, issue, the, the misalignments in the spine. So addressing the alignment, improving their lifestyle is the most important ways that you can definitely help improve this, this most important thing though 
is to keep your spine healthy. If you act proactively and you act preventively, understanding that your spine, just like any other part of your body, needs proper maintenance. You should be maintaining proper lifestyle by keeping your spine flexible, moving, exercising your spine properly, and getting uh, checkups to make sure your spine's in the proper alignment, that your posture is in proper alignment. If we see posture deviations, you start seeing head shifting out of alignment, shoulders shifting out of alignment, torso shifting out of alignment. There is no way your posture can be bad and your spine be in proper alignment. Those are early signs that your spine has lost its normal alignment. And just with a matter of time, more than likely, your spine is going to start to go through degenerative changes in those areas. And those degenerative changes are, des des are directly related to how much dis desiccation or damage that you're going to have. So being proactive, meaning the minute you see any type of postural issue, really realigning those things back into the right alignment can leave your spine healthy and well for your entire life. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.